He is a first round pick out of USC, Anthony Munoz. There's 100 unbelievable players that are going to be on this board. Yes. There's not one of them that's going to end up on that board I would trade for. I'm talking about one of the great athletes that has ever put on a helmet in the National Football League sitting right there. I was going to be a Major League Baseball player. No I was going to be a third baseman or a pitcher. Brooks Robinson or Juan Marichal. That's what I was going to do. Looking at the, the, this picture of you over here and all this tape you have on. And I'm looking at you talking. I'm it looking at work. that finger. Yeah, no, it didn't <laughs> work. You need more tape. <laughs> bad tape, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, look at that thing. Man, I love when we have Hall of Famers on. Few are, though, like Anthony Munoz here, who joins us now on NFL Now. Not only a great football player, he's a great baseball player, nine-time All-Pro, Walter Payton Man of the Year. Anthony Munoz, it's good to see you, sir. How are you? I'm doing great, Andrew. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, it it's fun uh, looking at those old highlights. I'm, I'm surprised they're still in color, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the baseball picture was in black and white. <laughs> baseball, not a high-revenue sport, you know? <laughs> this is true. And that, that USC team, I believe, won the national championship that year uh, when you were playing baseball. Yeah. Uh, let, let's talk about, I mentioned Walter Payton, Man of the Year. Let, let's talk about you off the field here as well because it is Veterans Day and we've been sharing throughout the day teams and players, everyone saying thank you to veterans. You're doing work as well with Ford because I know Veterans Day means a lot to you personally as well. It really does. It, it, it's great that we're doing this uh, piece on Veterans Day. First of all, my wife is an Army brat. Her dad, William Burns, uh, served in the Army. Her older brother, Bill Burns, uh, served in the Army. And then her younger brother, Patrick Burns, served over 30 years. So to be able to do this program, the Ford Motor Company and Pro Football Hall of Fame, the Ford Proud to Honor Hall of Heroes is amazing. I've been involved with the military for a lot of years, the U.S. Army High School American game. Uh, I've been able to do, you know, speak to 150 recruiters down at Fort Knox in Kentucky. And the highlight of my career was jumping tandem jumping with the Golden Knights. So I'm I'm ready for another jump. Uh, you know, we want to recognize every military men and women uh, who exemplify hard work, selflessness, commitment to excellence. And, and for me to be able to be part of this program with the Hall of Fame and, and Ford is always stepping up and doing a, a great job. And of course, our first recipient was Kathy Roth Duque, founder of the Blue Star Families. Uh, she was chosen as our first uh, member of the Hall of Heroes. So, uh, you know, and I just want to say thank you to all the veterans that served and really made this country what it is. Yeah, and I think that that thanks goes from all of us here as well. Um, and we, I think we heard Bill Belichick sum it up pretty well this morning. It's really every coach has said something here during their press availabilities on Veterans Day. And that is, without Veterans Day, we don't have the other holidays. And that thank you goes to not only everyone serving right now, whether it's here or abroad, but everyone who has served and everyone who has hung up that uniform as you have hung up your uniform as well. Let's talk about football here, Anthony Munoz. It is Steelers week. As a Bengal, let me pull up the stat here. Uh, the Steelers are 21-5 and five against the Bengals with Mike Tomlin as head coach here. What would it mean to give them their first loss this week? Well, I'm surprised you didn't bring up the Bengals Steelers record when the 13 years I was playing. I think it was much better than that. But we, we won't <laughs> I'm bother find with that. It. It's a big, big game. And, and as we were saying off air, uh, Wednesday morning we come in to start installing the game plan. There was just two words that were said, and it was Steeler Week. Nobody said anything else. It was just Steeler Week. We knew we had to get ready. So uh, anytime you have an undefeated team, and especially a team in your own division, you would like to knock them off. And, and no better place to, to go to somebody's uh, you know, backyard and do it. So this would be a huge win for the Cincinnati Bengals. Do, do you know the record against them when you were I, playing? I have it here. I don't, but, uh, you know, I can just say that I think they have six so uh, Super Bowl trophies, not one during those 13 years. And we actually won the AFC Central back then, uh, my second year at Three River Stadium against the Steelers to go to our first Super Bowl. But, you know, other than that, I don't keep a close tab. Do you have the record? I, I do. It was 15 and 10. You guys had a winning record there, so... Hats off to you. Uh, <laughs> a different era here. What do you think about Joe Burrow, Anthony? I am really impressed. Uh, I watched him just about every game when he was down there in LSU and Baton Rouge, and it was amazing. As a lot of people have talked about it, the bigger the game, the better he got in college. And and it, so I was excited when the Bengals drafted him. That's, I'm blown away not only by his physical ability but his mental ability. 
to be a rookie. And rookies make mistakes. Quarterbacks, I mean, that's a, that's a different cat there, man. That, that position is the toughest on the football field. And to see him navigate the blitzes and the, and the dogs and, you know, pressure and know exactly where to go and to hit guys quickly and avoid the, you know, the, the extra guys coming on the pressure. It's just really impressed me. And, and the thing I see, I haven't had a chance to be in the locker room or close to it, but I look on how he relates to the guys on the field and it, and it speaks volumes on how he keeps his poise. And, and the same thing happened last year as a, as a tiger down Baton Rouge, uh, you know, things wouldn't go well during a game and not many times during the game, but uh, he has faced some adversity this first year. Uh, during games, and uh, the way he bounces back has been very impressive. Yeah, and by beating the Steelers this week, if potentially he could, that would be a huge feather in his cap as well. Remember, we had Ed Orgeron on a couple of weeks ago, and he told a story about how Joe Burrow uh, won the team over by punching Patrick Queen, uh, the Ravens linebacker, in a practice because offense and defense were getting at each other, and he just decided to punch Patrick Queen. Um, that won the team over, not suggesting he goes and punches a linebacker <laughs> now. Anthony Munoz. Well, to that all... point, if I could, I, Andrew, if yeah, I could go. just add I played eight years, nine years with the quarterback that was similar to that. Boomer Esiason wanted to take on the defensive lineman, and we'd have to pull him away and say, no, that's our job. So it sounds like Joe Burrow has that same competitiveness, that same passion, and, uh, and it's, it's obvious why he's won him over. Yep, and Boomer still has that sometimes on the radio, wanting to punch people, which is why he is good at his job there, as was Anthony Munoz and there and here. Good to see you, sir. Thanks for coming on. Uh, hope, to, hope to talk to you again soon. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate it. Have a great day.